Good morning, everyone. Happy um, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just coming on here real quick um, to say good morning. It is morning. I've just finished eating breakfast, and um, let's see. I'm going to work on the pattern test. So I got it all cut out yesterday. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I can't wait to get it sewn up. I think it's going to be wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm making it out of a linen, and I decided to go. I have some linen in my, st or had some linen in my stash from Joyce, my mentor Joyce, from her um, inherited the fabric haul, the fabric that I inherited from her, and um, it is um, my colors. It's like my white, so like a creamy white, and then it has a little bit of a taupe stripe in it, um, like like a big, like a whole bunch of little pin stripes to make a thick stripe, and then small. And anyway, it's neat, and it's got my colors. Um, both of them like good neutrals for me. So I decided to make the dress out of that and um, I'm doing the stripes vertically but it was one of those that as I started to cut I was like oh this is not going to be as easy to cut out as I thought. Uh. <laughs> so hopefully the uh, stripe matching is going to be nice because um, we've got like yeah hopefully the stripe matching is going to be really nice. Um, but I'm going to sew that up today. So basically yesterday I just got it all cut out and I got it um, interfacing applied to the pieces that needed interfacing. So um, it's all ready to go. And the pieces, um, I, I do really like being able to interface pieces and then letting them sit overnight. I just feel that that really, um, that glue can really adhere really well. Um, not that I do it every time, but it is nice to do it every now and again. Um, so yeah, it is all ready to go. I just need to, in fact, I think the thread on my yeah the thread on my main machine is good. I do need to change my serger thread uh, for finishing off my seam allowances, but um, that shouldn't take me very long. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. So I can't obviously take you along on that one, although I'm very excited to show you that dress. Hopefully you will. I don't know if you will have seen it yet when you see this video or not. Hopefully, um, yeah, I think it's gonna. I've seen a few of the tester versions already finished. And it's really cute, so I can't wait to get mine made up. Um, but other than that activewear sewing. I am really losing steam on the activewear sewing. I was afraid this was going to happen. Activewear sewing is one of those things I really have to be in the mood to do. Um, I enjoy doing it when I'm in the mood, <clears throat> but then I can very easily lose steam. So um, I'm definitely, there are a few pieces that I really definitely want to get finished. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what the week without my kids looks like. They leave tomorrow and um, we're meeting my parents tomorrow, and so I will be without them for a week, um, so my um, responsibilities drop a little bit more. It's not as precious of a time as it used to be when they were little, when I used to have to be so, um, where that week was like a vacation when they would go back to visit my parents, because uh, I just, you know, I only had to walk, look out for myself, because they're pretty self-sufficient now, so it's not as big of a break as it used to be, but still, um, you know, they're looking forward to that, and uh, yeah, I really, though, really <laughs> want to get my sewing room tidied up during that week. So I think I'll probably time lapse you guys when I actually get around to doing that. Um, when I decide, you know, what of the, um, what I am going to finish of the active wear fabric and then the stuff that I'm not going to use right now, I can go ahead and put in the stash. Um, all of those linens that I bought when the fabric store had their sale, I need to get those folded and put back. Uh, or put into a spot. I've got plenty of room for that. I'm looking at um, empty spots. Um, and then a few other fabrics that just need to go back that I had pulled, you know, to kind of decide if I wanted to use them for different modules and stuff. So all that, I just need to fold and put away a lot of fabric, uh, tidy things up, and then just run, you know, do some dusting and run the um, shop vac. I use the shop vac down here, um, except on my rug. My rug, I'll do the regular vacuum cleaner, just because it gets to suck up like well, number one, the big things of, of thread, like the thread balls that form um, so quickly really gum up the regular um, vacuum cleaner, but the shop vac will take it. And then any pins that get sucked up, then I don't have to worry about it. So I would like to do that while they're gone. Um, and then obviously doing some more sewing as well. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens with the active wear, but I am really excited to get sewing on my dress today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and um, I don't know if I'll come back on here or not. You know, I can't show you the dress um, yet, so uh, I'll have to, to wait. But I just wanted to say good morning, and uh, yeah, let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, I'm trying to think if I was even on here, um, if I filmed anything for this week yet. I think I filmed something for Wednesday, maybe. 
Hmm, have I? I don't know. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I don't know if I have or not. Uh, it doesn't matter. I am on here now. So yesterday we went, um, I don't think I did film, maybe just a hello. Doesn't matter. Um, we went yesterday to, we were in the car all day yesterday. We met my parents halfway to um, deliver, halfway between Indianapolis and uh, Kansas City to deliver my children. So my children are, um, they go visit, do a week with my parents um, every summer because my uh, nephews and niece, my sister's kids, live um, within five minutes of my parents uh, in the Kansas City area. And uh, so they get to spend time with cousins as well as with their grandparents. So it's kind of, we call it um, Shoemaker is my maiden name. So it's Camp Shoemaker. And um, anyway, they've been doing it since, I mean, ever since we moved um, when they were four and a half. I don't think that first summer we didn't do it because we had, we moved that summer. But it's probably every summer since they were um, five that they've gone back for a week um, to be with my parents for a week which is obviously <laughs> when they were five, it was a huge deal for me because, you know, a five-year-old is much needier and way different than 13-year-olds. But, um, you know, even having them, them gone, actually they're gone a little over a week. So we dropped them off yesterday and I won't see them, I won't get them back until a week from tomorrow. So um, we get them back. We've got a, a wedding this weekend that kind of threw a it was a wedding for, it's my sister's best friends getting married, and it was a wedding that got moved from June to um, now because of COVID. Um, and even now, it's a, it's only 50 people. It's outdoors. Um, we've got, there's uh, masks that there are being provided um, and all that kind of stuff. But because it got moved last minute, it kind of threw a kink in the plans for getting my kids to Missouri. So anyway, um, I am very excited just to really dig down and sew this week and not have to worry about neglecting anyone other than my husband but he's working anyway <laughs> and he's actually not going to the wedding with me they had to cut numbers so drastically i'm going solo um, and i'm gonna share a hotel a t hotel suite with my sister and brother-in-law <laughs> tomorrow evening so anyway um I'm going to get a lot of sewing done today and then I probably won't do anything this weekend just because I'll be going back and forth to Chicago and then the time I'm not doing that I will be hanging with my husband but then all next week Monday through Friday I really want to get a lot of work done a lot of filming done um, I think I've revised my uh, activewear plans a bit and I think I mentioned that mostly I have think I've decided a few of the pieces including a few of the pieces that I bought from um, fabric fairy that I think will be great active wear. I'm actually going to repurpose the, that, those fabrics and instead of making them into like workout wear, I'm going to make those into some golf wear. Um, I'm going to push that a little bit, um, probably until August. Um, mostly because, I mean, we do golf in the summer. I am such a weenie when it comes to like high humidity and when it gets super hot, I just don't find it as enjoyable but you put me in fall and I could golf every single day of the week. <laughs> I love being on a golf course when the temperatures start to drop a little bit. And it's much better being in Indiana than being back in Missouri. Um, we get a much longer fall and spring here in Indiana than you do back in Missouri. Um, so anyway, I will probably push that off to August, but I'm gonna be doing, if you guys are interested, I thought I'd do like a little um, sewing golf wear series. Not really a module, kind of though. It could be it could kind of be a module. Mostly, I mean, sewing golf wear. It'll just be like different skirts and stuff and tops. Um, I don't really need a lot of jackets or, any, or toppers for golf. You know, a couple of pullovers um, makes sense, especially when the temperature does start to drop if you're golfing. There's Gidget <laughs> earlier in the day, um, and then you want to lose layers. But um, anyway, I thought I might do just like a little something small, showing you the patterns and stuff that I am going to use to make some more golf wear. Um, but that'll probably be again, end of August maybe. So that being said, I think there's the crazy psychedelic print that I still want to turn into active wear and the two poly merinos um, that kind of go with that, that I want to make into probably four tops. Like I'm thinking I can get two tops out of each like a tank maybe, and then like another, like a sleeved top out of each of them. Um, Cause I've been able to do that with the other, other two. So um, I'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen. And then my jacket that um, I had a merino nylon, like a double faced fabric that I'm gonna make that Jay Lee jacket. And I think that's gonna work on today. Um, but the rest of it, I'm actually gonna fold up and put away for now until I um, 
embark on some golf wear um, and kind of show you what I'm going to be making later on. So that's the plan for today. Also, so today's Friday, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of be doing probably just active wear today. And then next week, I'm going to really, let's see, I've got a sew along for um, 6674, B6674 that I'm going to be filming next week. I'm going to get that all done. I do need to film the actual shearing tutorial today. I filmed the intro. I just need to film the actual tutorial that will go up Sunday. Um, yeah, and I'd like to get quite a bit of, I'd like to get ahead of my um, filming, really, next week just because, um, you know, with the kids not being here, number one, it's quiet. <laughs> and number two, I don't feel like I'm neglecting them completely. Um, because they're not here anyway. So that's kind of the plan for next week. I'll be filming a sew along, um, any last minute with the active wear, and then, um, yeah, we'll see where else. Maybe, and I might be able to delve into that other sew the look, the anthropology look that I was, uh, made the Rhapsody blouse to go with to get those shorts finished, because it'd be nice to be able to start wearing that as well. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for Week Without Kids. Um, so this could be a long vlog. <laughs> just of me popping in um, and just doing a lot of sewing, especially once Monday hits. And then probably again the following week because that will go into the next week's vlog. So anyway, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to quit blabbing. I, um, I think I'll just take you in and do some time lapsing as I cut out my jacket. I'm going to start with the jacket and get that sewn up and then we will work on cutting out the other three fabrics. And then I think we are going to be finished with active wear, like workout wear, um, for now. So let's go do that. Okay guys, I have been a <laughs> cutting maniac. All right, there's a pair of Avery leggings. Then I got a, let's see, I don't remember what I cut out. Then I got a, um, oh, a tank top, the um, cashmere cedar spruce tank. And I also, did I also get a, okay. Okay, I think that's it. Yes, for that. For some reason I was thinking I got a Summer Basics tank out of that too, but I don't think I did. I think I just got, okay, the Cedar Dolman. And then I had a little bit of, I actually still have a little bit of the um, camo leftover, so I'm just going to do a Love Notion Summer Basic tank, and I'm going to, instead of using self-binding, I'm using the fold-over elastic for the binding. I got the J. Lee jacket cut out. I got a um, Love Notion's uh, La Bella Donna um, top, Dolman top, and a um, Summer Basics tank, and then all of that there is another cashmere um, cedar dolman because um, I love my cream one that I made so much. And then I also got a Summer Basics tank out of that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things I got cut out today. <laughs> when am I going to sew them? Oh, who knows? Um, anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. 
I need to now film the um, how to shear sew along so um, I can get that edited and uploaded before I go to Chicago tomorrow. Alrighty. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Monday. So I have not talked to you all since Friday, I don't think, when I did a whole bunch of cutting out, um, which I was kind of expecting. I think I said that I went to a wedding in Chicago this weekend, a very small, intimate wedding. Um, there were less than 50 people there. It was an outdoor venue, very small. Um, but it was a, a good friend. So I uh, went up and did that. So I drove up on Saturday. We had the wedding. It's my sister's best friend. So I um, shared a room with my sister and brother-in-law. <laughs> Very kind of them. And then came back on Sunday. Um, and then I was just beat. Uh, I was up way later than normal on Saturday night. And then the drive to and from Chicago, which is about two hours and 45 minutes from my house to downtown Chicago. Um, so not too bad. And um, yeah, so no sewing happened this weekend. <laughs> However, I just filmed tomorrow's video, which is actually um, kind of the first module of my daughter's um, back to school wardrobe. I'm definitely, I'm just taking it one, you know, then you'll see the plans for the next module once we finish the first module, uh, mostly because I can't get her to try on a whole bunch of stuff all at once. That's just going to be like pulling teeth and I'm not interested in that. And I thought I could also sprinkle some stuff in for myself. So I'm not just sitting down and making her a ton of stuff. I don't want to get burned out. I want to enjoy the process. So I thought I'll just break it up into their own little modules and we'll get through it eventually. But yeah, we'll just do a separate plans and uh, reveal for each of those. Um, so you can kind of see as we're going along. So I just finished the plans for the first one, hence why I'm all dressed up. But now I think I'm going to um, go put on comfy clothes and then um, just because I'm going to be, my sewing room can get chilly. And so I think I'm just going to go um, put on some just shorts and a long sleeve shirt. Um, I've already done my grocery run this morning. And so I'm literally going to be a troll down here and working on all those active wear patterns that I cut out on Friday. I think eight items that I've got sitting over there. So um, I'm going to do that. I'll definitely take you guys along with me. My battery's getting ready to die. Um, yeah, so that's going to be uh, the rest of today. So I'll probably time lapse you as I sew um, some active wear. Okay, see you soon. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, so I did a very short um, uh, time lapse yesterday. On in all honesty, I had eight things to sew up yesterday. I got seven of the eight finished. I have the jacket still, my very last, my Jaylee jacket to finish still. But um, I honestly got into the groove and just was churning things out. And my uh, time lapse on my, my um, camera goes for only 30 minutes and then you have to hit go again. <laughs> basically. And I just totally, I had Pride and Prejudice on in the background, <laughs> the Kira Knightley version, and just totally got lost in what I was doing and tell it dawned on me that I hadn't, um, that the camera hadn't been recording since the first like 30 minutes. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, but I did have a very productive day yesterday. So I got, um, like I said, seven of the eight things that I had cut out. When was that on Friday? Um, I still have the jacket to do, so I'm going to do that here real quick, and then, or real quick, you know, whatever, <laughs> and then I need to start on the sew-along for um, Sunday that starts on Sunday, the 6674, Butterick 6674. Um, I got to get going on that and get all that uh, done. Um, like I'd mentioned, my kids are gone this week, so um, I also am going to be cleaning my house a little bit this week. So I kind of 
thought, obviously this is the last day for this week's vlog, but I kind of thought uh, I may take you guys, just do kind of a time lapse of me tidying up my sewing room. That's probably not going to happen until Friday, maybe Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Um, I just have a ton of fabric that needs to be folded back up and put away. Um, and just general tidying, in addition to, I actually need to clean, like I need to vacuum and, and dust and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I kind of want to get, since my kids aren't here, it's the perfect time to <laughs> clean house because it actually stays clean for longer than five minutes. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to kind of be doing that um, <clears throat> throughout the week. I won't take you along with me on that. But I thought maybe tidying up my uh, sewing room, I could do a little bit of a time lapse um, of that Thursday or Friday, but obviously you won't see that till next week's vlog. Okay, what else today? So yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to show you today. I will show you this J. Lee jacket when I'm finished um, really quickly. The other stuff that I finished yesterday, um, most of them were tops, so you'll see that in Friday's um, top reveal video anyway. So I'll just wait and hold off on those and you can see those on Friday. Um, so you're seeing this Wednesday. On Thursday, I have a one of the pattern tests, itch to stitch pattern test I was working on. Uh, it's actually being released today when you're seeing it, but I'm going to do my video on it tomorrow. So you'll have an extra video up this week of the um, uh, Celeste dress. So um, it's really, really good. And I mean, you can it's released today when you're seeing this, so um, you can go have a look at it, but it's a really good one. Um, like a really good one. <laughs> I really love it. So um, yeah, I'll have my video and my pattern review on that up tomorrow when you're watching this. So yeah, lots of videos. Um, I've got a lot of filming I need to do today. Uh, not today, other than so long filming. Um, I'll be in front of the camera again tomorrow and doing a whole bunch of videoing tomorrow. So that is the game plan. I will uh, set you guys up. I'm kind of like, I'm wondering, you know, since we're wrapping up active wear, there were a few things that I really wanted to um, tackle that I didn't, like putting in a built-in bra in the Elevate crop top, which actually I just decided to scrap for me in the end just because I'm like, Number one, I don't know that that, that, that pattern, that the, the Elevate crop top is something I'm going to, I made my, myself one, and, and I'll wear it and see how I feel. Um, but if that's just something I'm going to be comfortable in, I'm just a little bit more comfortable in the longer tanks. Um, it's perfect for, like, my daughter. Um, and then I was thinking, putting a sports bra into it, am I going to have a really hard time getting that on and off? Because sports bras are hard to get on and off anyway. And then when you're putting it in a longer line with that crop top, you know, it's a lot longer than a sports bra, obviously. Am I just going to be breaking out in a sweat, pot, you know, struggling to get my shoulders and stuff into that? Um, so I did decide to scrap that. However, if you do have a small bust, you could easily line the front of that with power mesh, and that would probably be enough support for you. Um, this is pretty tight fitting. Um, what else? Oh, and I was going to talk a little bit more about the differences between cover stitch and my cover stitch and, or a cover stitch and a uh, serger, but I can do that today. We can talk just a little bit, um, real quickly. I'll take you over to the machines and kind of talk about that today. Okay. So first things first, I am going to just really quickly <laughs> sew up this J. Lee jacket. Um, yeah. Okay. I will come back and show you it when it is finished and then we can talk about the differences in the machines. All right. I'm all finished. Yay. <laughs> Here is that J. Lee jacket. Um, what's it called? The zipper hoodie, I think. Completely unzips. I used the double-faced um, merino nylon. So it's very comfortable on the inside because it's the nylon side mostly, except I wanted to use a little bit of the nylon, obviously on the cuffs, on the hem band, on my pocket facings. Um, and on the inside, I wanted the inside gum because it's just smoother against my skin. Because those are obviously two pieces of separate um, collar pieces. Yeah, and then again, with the piece around the hood. I am very pleased with it. I think it's going to be just perfect. So there we go. That's all finished. Um, you will see this in full detail, uh, let's see, a week from Friday. Okay, I'm going to come talk to you guys. Okay, so I'm finished with my activewear sewing for now, which is a really good feeling. <laughs> I'm so, I'm tired of sewing activewear. I'm ready to move on. Um, my plan for today was also to get started on the sew along, but I don't think that's going to happen because it's already 2 o'clock and I still need to go um, 
I'm washing sheets today, so I need to go finish doing that. And then I also wanted to get the um, upstairs cleaned, which is where my kids' bedrooms and their bathroom is. Um, just go ahead and get that uh, zone done. I think I've talked about that before. I have my house broken up into zones so that I don't clean. I don't have to clean my whole house in one day because um, I really hate cleaning. <laughs> But, um, but I do it. And uh, so yeah, breaking it up into zones means I'm only cleaning for like, you know, two hours tops, depending on which one. Um, then I just do a little bit every day and then the whole house by the end of the week is clean. So, or the end of the work week usually is clean. So anyway, I need to go do that. So we'll see. I doubt I do any filming tonight though. I may just, um, my husband wanted to go over to our neighborhood pool this evening. Um, and I thought, you know, why not? Let's go over and do that and do a little swimming. His back's been bothering him, and I think that feels good for him to swim some laps. So I think we're going to go do that and then just hang out, and I'll make dinner and that kind of stuff. Because um, we need to be enjoying that as well while the kids aren't here, just to have a little, uh, some date nights. So, um, yeah, I think I'm probably finished filming today. Plus, I need to edit this vlog and get it uploaded. But I did really quickly want to talk about the difference between, um, I had some questions on the serger and the cover stitch machine. So I'll go over and show you the machines here in just a second. Um, I also do promise that as soon as I've had a minute, God, probably, it probably won't be till school's back in session though, to go and through my new feet um, and really explore my, the feet for my um, cover stitch machine that I'll show you a little bit more. I just want to get a, a grasp of it a little bit more. Um, and I think playing with that binder foot is going to take some practice. So I just kind of want to devote some time, um, but it's probably going to be after school starts just because um, I need to be able to devote a chunk of time. But anyway, a serger. Okay, a serger does, if you look at your ready to wear clothing, it does this kind of loopy stitch. So you see how it kind of, that's a seam. And it wraps the thread around the um, raw edge as it sews two lines of stitching. Well, because of that, it is a super stretchy, that wasn't a good example because that, the fabric's not stretchy that direction. Super stretchy um, seam, which allows for a lot of um, give and take. Um, it's perfect for knit fabrics. In fact, I sew on my serger, I use a four thread, which means, um, you can see I've got four threads set up on it. That means it does two lines of stitching um, right next to each other, and then you have your upper looper and lower looper that are doing the wrapping. Um, but because those are basically like a bobbin doing the wrapping, you have a ton of thread to give you a lot of stretch. Um, so I, I sew my knit garments pretty much, I hardly use a sewing machine at all um, with my knit garments. Now, that being said, I do sometimes have to use a sewing machine because you can't do like precision sewing with the serger. Um, for instance, I, the jacket I just made, I had to do some stay stitching into um, a corner so that I could clip to do the little welts on the pockets. Um, I did have to use a sewing machine for that, which is where I would just put a ballpoint needle in and you need a straight stitch anyway because I wanted that area to stay stable. Um, so that's kind of what a serger is. A serger can also be used on woven fabrics just to finish off your um, seam. Now typically I sew my seam because I don't need, I don't want a stretchy seam when I'm using a um, woven. So I will sew it per normal on the um, sewing ma machine just like any, any other sewing project and then I run that seam through the serger just because then it will wrap your seam allowances and keeps things from fraying. So that is what a serger does. Um, I mean, there's some other like tips and tricks. I think I showed you my ruffling foot on there where it just um, gathers really, really quickly and kind of ruffles one layer of fabric to the, or gathers one layer of fabric to the bottom, which you can play around with the differential feed. I showed you all that in the um, last week's vlog, I guess. Um, so there's more things that you can do, but that's kind of the basic. And then a cover stitch machine, which is that one right there, is its basic use, although not completely, is doing um, hems. So as you can see, I have um, two lines of stitching on the right hand side, and then on the back, it does like a little, um, it looks like the serge, like a little loopy stitch. Now, you can get away with a double needle on a sewing machine, which is where it will sew two lines of stitching on the top and then the bobbin zigzags between the two on the back, which does give you a nice um, uh, stretchy hem, but it is not nearly as stretchy as a cover stitch hem. Cover stitch hems, you can pull on, you know, I can put my leggings, I can stick a foot in there, it stretches, I, you, I never pop stitches for, um, with a cover stitched hem. Um, and that kind of thing. And it's great for top stitching. So with a cover stitch machine, you can have your two needles, which are really stretchy, makes a really stretchy um, hem or a stitch, 
or you can just keep one in, which is a chain stitch. And actually, a lot of your ready-to-wear garments use chain stitches even for woven as the actual seam. Um, that's what they'll use to seam because it's, um, so it wraps the back, um, kind of. It's not nearly as stretchy of a stitch. Um, so you, you don't get as much stretch, but it does pull out really easily. So if, um, you know, for basting and that kind of thing, but I have noticed that there are quite a few um, ready to wear items that will use a chain stitch, um, to, to sew the garment and then, you know, you'll see a surge or whatever as well. Usually it's, you know, not very nicely made garments that do that though. <laughs> they pop really easy cause they do come unchained really easy. But the benefit of that, again, is that you do have some give and you've got some stretch. So I would definitely say that a chain stitch is probably stretchier than the stretch stitch on my sewing machine, but it's not as stretchy as my cover stitch when you've got two lines because then there's just more thread wrapping between those two. So I hope that makes sense. So that is kind of the purpose. Again, there's other things that you can do with the cover stitch. It does binding, which I haven't played with yet, <laughs> where, um, you know, it makes for a nice stretchy binding on um, tons of things. And I'm assuming you could probably sew fold over elastic onto it. I just, I haven't done enough research yet to figure that out. If anyone has any, um, I mean, I'm sure there's YouTube videos out there, those YouTube videos, where I can get on and look, um, you know, kind of to help figure out my feet. Um, because my, where I bought my cover stitch machine is still not offering classes because of COVID. Stupid COVID. <laughs> Just need the stupid virus to go away. But for many reasons. Um, but anyway, that is kind of the difference. And I can take you over real quick and just kind of show you um, the machines. Just because, again, there are some, I think, probably people, newer people that... Um, just weren't sure what the difference, you know, I talk about those and what those machines are and why I would want them and that kind of thing. Um, I will say you can do any of this type of sewing on a regular sewing machine. You do not need to have a surgery. You do not need to have a cover stitch machine. They are wonderful additions to your sewing room. They're pricey, so you do have to weigh that. But if it's something that you really love doing, they do give the most professional results but you don't need them. You can do everything you need to do on a regular sewing machine um, as long as it has a zigzag stitch. So there we go. <laughs> I just wanted to um, throw that out there, uh, you know, because uh, people have asked. So let me show you the machines real quick. All right, so here is my serger. So as, let me turn it on so you can actually see the light a little bit. So the other thing with serging is that if you look, this piece right here is actually a blade. So when I am um, hitting the gas and the fabric is going through here, um, that blade's going up and down and it will trim off any extra, um, you know, little whiskers or pieces of the seam allowance. A lot of times if you have a three eighths inch seam allowance, um, you can trim it down, but it just makes a really even, um, seam allowance because it allows it to wrap really beautifully um, as it's going through. But you can also dis disengage the knife if you don't want to lose any of your seam allowance and if you're worried about that. Now, this is the Baby Lock Evolution. It actually does convert to a cover stitch machine as well, um, but as if you've been following me for any amount of time, know that it was just really annoying to have to go back and forth, which is why I ended up buying my Janome. But, um, so this one just pretty much stays as a cover stitch machine. But yeah. Got the four threads going. I pretty much use four thread. So see this machine does like a wave stitch, which is kind of like a decorative stitch. And um, yeah, there's all sorts of different stitches and stuff that you can see over here. Um, I can do a rolled hem on this really easily, but it's basically, instead of a rolled hem where it's folding the fabric under a couple times and stitching, it's actually just wrapping thread around the bottom, um, which actually, if you look at any kind of like formal wear, uh, if it's a chiffon skirt, like a poly chiffon skirt, most of the time that's how it's hemmed, just with a uh, surged rolled hem. Um, so we use that a lot in the bridal work room as well with bridesmaids dresses. So I use that every now and again, but um, yeah, that's kind of the basics of what I use that for. And then over here is my new cover stitch machine. So this is the Janome Cover Pro 900 CPX, I believe. <laughs> that's a lot of words. Uh, so it's more basic of a machine. It just does the cover stitch. Um, I, you know, it keeps the needles at the same. It looks more like your sewing machine, but as you can see, or maybe not, let me turn it on. Eh. Um, it has two needles. I don't have to have, you know, I could just use one and then it would just do the chain stitch. Um, but yeah, and I just run things through for hemming and for that kind of thing. Um, 
and then there's actually three. You can see my trick for uh, cover stitching is that I use a, just a neutral color on the back and then on the front I'll use whatever my thread color is and then I'll just load up a bobbin with that same thread color so I only have to have one spool of thread. And that usually works really well. So then they both stitch, uh, both lines of stitching match. So there you go. That's kind of why I have my two machines. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. All right, so there you have it. That is the end of this week's weekly vlog. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Although I think I'll probably just pop on and say hi tomorrow because I do have quite a bit of filming that needs to happen tomorrow, including the release of the itch to stitch pattern um, that will be going up on Thursday, um, but also be filming all of my activewear stuff. So um, yeah, I'll probably just pop on to say hello since I'll be filming anyway. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. And uh, I'll be doing some, let's see, the rest of this week, we'll be uh, sewing through the sew along. Um, but I will definitely take you along on any other sewing that I happen to do. And then we can clean my sewing room. <laughs> take you guys along for that, right? Tidying up a little bit. It is a mess. All right, that's all I've got. I hope you guys have enjoyed following me around this week. And I will see you guys um, in the next couple days tomorrow, actually. Okay, bye. <laughs>